hi friends good morning uh, this is a basic video about information theory let us know about the basic information of basic concept about information theory so normally uh, students might have studied already about the probability random process where the probability how, how the pro event occur what is the probability of that event you might have studied earlier but here information theory many of our communication systems uh, deals uh, systems will be defined with respect to some parameters if you want to measure the performance of any communication systems we need some measurement parameters so all these parameters comes under information theory so uh, as a communication students you know already about the a communication link consists of transmitter channel and receiver so if you want to study about any communication system over a, over a channel a channel is established between a transmitter and receiver so to know about that communication channel we need to analyze what is the performance so one such what one such parameters will be revealed by information theory first basically we know about we, we study about information theory so information theory is nothing but it is a branch of probability theory probability theory it relates to probability only which will be applied over communication systems how means the communication system uh, information will be formulated in a mathematical modeling we are formulating that one into a mathematical equation which is called information so the message or information we are formulating into a mathematical modeling that is called information theory so let us see what is the relation between information and probability so i have some information a marks of three students who got three students got 60 80 100 marks so it's a message it's a information so how much information and what is the probability of occurrence for that information we will see now so there are three types of events will be there so according to occurrence of the event uh, different events will be there most probably we can categorize into uncertain event certain event or some information an event which will have some information the first one we will see if an event has not occurred that condition is uncertainty which is a rare condition uncertain which won't happen regular won't happen so uh, that is the first event called uncertainty which won't occur frequently another type of event is which will occur which will occur frequently the third one see if the event has occurred a time back it will have some information or else if you see the sun rises in the east it will have in small information only why because everyone knows that sun rises in the east daily okay so that will have basic info some information why because everyone know that so the second type is the event has just occurred there is a condition of surprise surprise if the sun rises in the west people will get surprise that won't happen frequently certainly it is a uncertain event and with surprise so which will have more information but probability is very very less it won't occur uh, daily so it's a it's a miracle like a miracle so this type of events will be there and how we will measure the information the event that occurs with low probability carries more information like i said uncertain event the uncertain event will have more information people will talk more about that one it will carries more information but it will happen very rare low probability which is a low probability and the second one more the uncertainty of event more information content in the occurrence of event more uncertainty more information the justification for the first point and the relation is inverse proportionate so we can relate that one information versus probability into with an equation such a way that the amount of information received is inversely proportional to probability high information less probability and low information high probability so amount of information received is inversely proportional to probability of occurrence so which can be formulated into an equation type like this so here the information say i i is the information and the probability of the particular event is p say for example say p so i is equal to log 1 by p so probability is inversely proportionate to information so less probable more information 
less probable p is less value then i will i value will be more less probable more information i probable less information if i substitute p equal to 1 here if i substitute p equal to 1 here in the denominator so then the information will be very very less log 1 is 0 so hence i equal to 0 very less information if i if the probability is very very less equal to 0 0 0.1 0 0.005 are equivalent to 0 if i substitute 0 here in the denominator then the information will be very very high i is infinite if i substitute 0 0.000 small value also the i value will be very large so which which we can express this equation into another form as minus log pk so let us see about the properties of information theory so the same concept what we uh, discussed in the previous slide with respect to properties we are discussing here i of s k equal to 0 so information pertain to this event s k is equal to 0 when 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 it went to 0 the absolutely certain event daily happening event the sun rises in the east this is a well known fact so absolutely certain daily it's happening certain event and uh, uh, that, that event outcome is very very less probability is very uh, information is very very less outcome of a event absolutely certain of outcome of a event even before it occurs even if before it occurs means uh, tomorrow morning also sun rises in the east everyone know that so that will that won't ha carry high information that there, there is no information gain so i of sk equal to 0 for a absolutely certain event the second property is this one i of s k is greater than or equal to 0 always information will be having the value greater than or equal to 0 it won't information won't be a non negative value it is a positive value no loss of information how can we define the property occurrence of an event s k either provides some information very less information or no information nothing but 0 but never brings never brings loss of information loss of information is negative value it won't have a negative value always it may be a, a minimum bound of zero or high information so the information value i of sk any message signal sk will be greater than or equal to zero but not negative value so for which the probability lies the value of probability lies between zero and one zero and one the probability so here in the previous formula the probability this pk value takes from the value probability always we know that it is a having least value 0 highest value is 1 so in the same way within these two limits 0 and 1 the probability with limits 0 and 1 the value of information will be greater than or equal to 0 this is property 2 so it won't be negative non negative it will be a non negative the third property is less probable an event more information we already discussed less probable more information so if i compare two events so first event information is more than the second event then first event probability is less the first event probability is less than the second event inverse proportionate we know we studied already information and probability are in inverse proportionate so hence a more probable more informative in over inter, informative event will have less probability and uh, less information event will have more probability more probability so this is the third point third property the fourth property is additive property so if we have an independent event statistically independent events sk sl for notation we can take k l m n any one so s k s l both are statistically independent events then we can define with respect to additive property such a way that i of s k comma s l equal to addition of these two informations these these are the four properties of uh, information theory thank you